Hey everybody, it's me just checking in with you guys. I've had a pretty um, emotionally, spiritually amazing day so far. Um, I had Bible study this morning. We started another six week program. This is on week two and we're going over First Peter, which is just really good. I really love being with these ladies and just picking their mind, um, learning what they've learned in life already so that it can help me when I'm raising my kids and going through my life's journey. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you today because um, I had a client that moved and it allowed me to come home and take a quick run before I go back to work. Because you guys know, I'm, if you didn't know, I'm training for another show in November, which this is, year has been a journey for me. Um, I came to you as a praying wife. I came to you as a praying mother. Now I'm coming to you as a single mom. And the journey has been... It's been it's been a journey and I might exude strength warrior princess style and um, that is me because I am I'm you know digging my heels deep and I'm gonna go in with a good fight of faith but um, coming up November it will be a year December it will be I will be freed from it hopefully all um, but there's a lot coming up in this next couple months with court and different things so just I ask you guys to keep me in your prayers and I'm just boldly vulnerably coming in front of you with um, this today because you know, we can't judge a book by its cover, and I know with me sharing my story, so many other women have reached out to me and have asked for help and guidance, and I've been able to put them and um, send them in different directions of help and just share what I've paid for, um, kind of the advice I've gotten, and I can, I'm able to help them out too, but I have ladies that are helping me out daily as well, but um, the discipline of this show is keeping me in my head in the right space of just continuing to do the set goals at hand every single day, but... Um, for seven years I was estranged from my family and um, that was really heartbreaking for me and I just had to kind of go through what I had to go through because um, we talked about the Silverman this morning in church about how silver to be purified has to be held in the middle of the fire for all the impurities to fall off of it and the, the Silverman was asked how do you know whenever it's good to come out of the fire and he said that's easy when he can see the reflection of himself in it and I feel that that's how God is like he we go through these trials and tribulations in life and we don't know why we do and we want to blame everybody but you know we take it takes two you know and um, just owning it and stepping through your pain into power encouraging others I know for me helping other people is a way for me to heal so I'm like an open book I'm a little social butterfly I can't help it I'm always down to help anybody I can and I do have those that are helping me and I am weak in certain areas and certain times like right now I was just talking to a girlfriend from California and I had to sit on this park bench after my run and we cried together a little bit because what I had on my heart I had to share with her it helped her and vice versa with me for seven years, I did not have my family in my life. Like, I can't even imagine what my life was like then being now. I mean, my mother just called me or texted me the other day saying, Hey, Ash, you know, I have, um, do you mind if so-and-so comes over and cleans your house today And I, um, because she needs some extra hours or whatever? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, please do. And then my father, he's actually pressure washing my house right now. Um which I could do, but I just don't have time to do it. Or, you know, it's just like, there's always something else that's needed to be done. But just that love, that agape love, that love of somebody to take time out to pray for you, to be there with you, to give you clothes if you need it, to um, help you out, watch your kids, um, even take you out to dinner and pay for the sitter or whatever it may be. Just to be that shoulder to cry on or that tear or heck, if you ran a race and accomplished it just because you wanted to do it, like the Spartan races that were this weekend. I just want to tell you guys, be encouraged. Show people love and kindness. There's too much hate in the world today for us to just be hate on everybody. Show love and kindness. God is love. He is kind and he is there with you. Whether you know it or not, their angels are all around just waiting to help us. So I'm sorry I'm getting emotional. I just had it laid on my heart. I hope this isn't too, too long and you guys actually listen to it because it's a good message. I just want you guys to be encouraged and inspired, whether it's health, wealth, your kids being raised, single moms, being a married lady. I mean, all of it's hard and it's just struggles, but get near someone that can help you through it and be encouraged. Be Find somebody that is going to help you through the journey. All right, ladies, I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.